be a venue amaze me. My name is Vignesh and today we're going to reveal the truth about squirrels. This is what you might or might not know about squirrels. The squirrel is the most abundant creature on Purdue's campus. They can be spotted almost everywhere, digging through trash, soliciting nuts from the ground, amongst other strange things. What are squirrels? The squirrel is a mammal from the family Sciuridae. Squirrels have cheek pouches, short ears, and furry tails. They are diurnal, which means they come out only during the day. How many squirrels do you see on a day-to-day -day basis? Probably like 100. The abundance of food is proportional to the squirrel's mating. If there is an abundant amount of food, there will be less competition for food and thus more mating between the squirrels. What do you think about the number of squirrels on campus? Do you think there are too many? Way too many squirrels on campus, for sure. And they're also more aggressive here. In the hood spot, little hole in the wall, through 20 racks and just black dots. Some of them can be really nice, but some of them have really mean spirits. I personally think squirrels are really good creatures. Over time, if they forget where they put the nut, that can result to a tree. Despite their charming looks, they are a menace to the people of Purdue. How are you, may ask? I mean, every time they walk by one, I think they're gonna, like, tear me apart. So I'm walking past the Windsor Courtyard, and um, the squirrel was coming so fast. I thought it would stop, but it didn't. And it ran across my leg, and it scratched my leg. And the squirrel was right there, and she was like, Are you okay? And I was like, No, the squirrel touched me, touched me, touched me. So I called my roommate. My roommate. And um, I was crying. It scratched my whole leg. So I thought I had rabies or something. On average, there are seven squirrels in the leader. Squirrels mainly eat nuts from the trees they live in, such as hickory nuts, walnuts, and acorns. They also eat some insects, plants, and berries. My favorite! My grandma once sent me a birthday card, and in her birthday card, she said that she has a couple of squirrels in the freezer. And I didn't really know what to say to that, because I'm personally kind of a squirrel lover. I think they're harmless creatures as long as you leave them alone. Squirrels are native to North America, having evolved from chipmunks and other common critter on campus. Squirrels have been around for 12 million years, so they have coexisted with Purdue's students and faculty since Purdue was founded. The real problem with squirrels is rooted in their most basic of practices, stripping trees of their bark, leaving their trunks vulnerable. Though they thrive at Purdue, squirrels are able to live anywhere in the world because of their ability to burrow underground. When gray squirrels were introduced to Italy in the 1900s, the squirrels populated quickly and destroyed much of the bark on the local trees. This weakened the trees and caused them to die from infection. Not only did they destroy the bark, but also the population of red squirrels native to Italy started to decline. This was an issue, so they eradicated the gray squirrels. Would you say there's too many squirrels on campus? I mean, I don't, they don't really cause a problem, do they? They attack trees. Oh, in that case, yeah. Despite their charming looks, they are a menace to not only the people of Purdue, but even the trees on campus. At Clemson University, researchers are trying to control the booming squirrel population with contraceptive laced sunflower seeds. By effectively putting the squirrels on the pill, they hope to reduce their numbers and in turn, reduce the squirrel-afflicted devastation on the university's trees. Favorable conditions help squirrels thrive in their natural habitat. This might be a good thing for our small friends, but they can do serious damage like wrecking havoc on their surroundings, devouring farmers' crops, chewing into building wires, and stripping bark, damaging if not killing the trees outright. We can thus conclude that the squirrels are much more than an amiable shell of furry cuteness. Will Purdue take as extreme steps as Clemson to control their population? The squirrels' unchecked growth in Purdue's welcoming climate is an issue that cannot be ignored, lest the campus suffer from nothing short but tree genocide. Right. So, like, one time when I was in second grade, so uh, my mom was driving back from school, and there was a squirrel that ran right, like, right out in front of our car, and then, so she like stomped on the brakes, trying not to hit her, and then she didn't hit her. But when we stopped to, to look out front to see. 
like where the squirrel went, because the squirrel couldn't move, like you couldn't see it from the left or to the right, I guess. And then the squirrel like had a heart attack or something, because it was uh, it was like standing like that with like bloodshot eyes, and I like it died, like it was just stricken. My my dad uh, went and like later that day, with, like a garbage bag, went and like put his hand in it and grabbed the squirrel and turned it out so he wouldn't touch it. And, like, just Grant! Hey Grant! Steven!